I'm in downtown Albany on my way to the Albany Barn to speak with artist Janaya Kuhn. Let's go. I am a contemporary artist. My mediums that I work with are paint, uh, photography, and fiber. Um, so a lot of oil painting and photography, those two kind of go hand in hand a lot for me and my work. And just recently I picked up fiber art. I was born in Albany, but I grew up back and forth from Jamaica and Albany. So Montego Bay, Jamaica is where I grew up and here in West Hill in Albany, New York. And uh, it gave me a unique experience of growing up as a kid because I, I have both memories of growing up here but also growing up in the Caribbean and they're two different type of like uh, upbringings. I come from two big immigrant families and one I think very essential piece of just like our story as a family was documenting a lot and that's where my love for photography came in. My first camera was a Polaroid. At first, I didn't see it as a medium because it's something I've always been around and seeing other people doing as a kind of thing to save a moment or a memory. And um, it wasn't until 2020 where I started doing things or making work as sort of like a memorialization of a memory. Um, so I have a painting called Mothers Before Me and when I was working on it, I didn't realize that I was memorializing my mom <laughs> um, in that portrait, uh, my late mom. So that sort of became uh, the first step in me realizing, okay, I can use photography in this way and this is how it intertwines with painting. There's one actually in the room of me it's not done yet, my birthday's next month. <laughs> so I plan on uh, sharing it with everyone then. But I had this like really bad birthday and automatically I had like this image of myself in my head. Like my mom was always the person to help me celebrate and feel real special on my birthday. And my last one just wasn't that great. So I was like, you know what? I need to put this somewhere like and at first I didn't know that it was gonna be a painting but when I had like the image in my head I was like oh, I'm gonna paint this my love for texture came into uh, the painting so I decided to add a embroidered frame into the portrait in the frame is a photo transfer of my baby self <laughs> the painting is actually gonna be framed itself so it's a frame within a frame when it's done, it's gonna have a birthday cake into the composition as well. And I wanted to kind of mess around with um, texture literally, but also texture um, painting-wise a bit differently. I wanted things to clash. I wanted some things not to make sense because I think that's how I was feeling around that time. I had an idea to do a body of work called White Noise, and it was supposed to invite a lot of white space, a lot of use of negative space in my compositions, to kind of allow me to think more about what it, exactly I want to like emphasize in a portrait. The first body of work of that series is a stop sign that was memorialized um, with images and stuff. It just talks, it kind of talked a lot about like what my neighborhood is actually like. Um, and it's not a pretty story, but it's also um, something that encouraged me to do these portraits the same way, where a lot of these people, these are younger images, these are images of my family members who have passed, and the white space is inviting because it's, it's black and white, it's very simple. And it allows people to kind of just see what's there and not anything else. Typically, if I add color, you know, somebody would probably say, oh, these flowers are really pretty and not actually focus on the person in the portrait. At this Polaroid project, I started in 2018 because of my mom. When she was here, she was so full of life. She was about family. She was kind of like the glue to our family. And she would always say, it's so, it, you, you have to practice being comfortable having people around you. It's so good to have people around you. I would meet one new person each day and just say hello because what I needed was someone to kind of say hello or do that. I didn't know that I was grieving 
and um, what that project did was introduce me to so many amazing people over like the years and um, it's something that I kind of wanted to publish to encourage others to either do the same or just to say hello to, to anybody who may look like they need a hello. I think everybody should have this feeling of like wanting to be kind to others because like it's these moments that I think people should really cherish. Thank you.